today I have for you another Kmart come shop with me haul. We picked up a few bits that we needed, a few bits that we just kind of wanted. Uh, first in the need pile, uh, something quite basic, quite boring, chopping boards and a fly protector for your food. Living in Queensland, being our first summer, this is something that we've definitely needed to stock up on. This was only $2, which I think is an absolute bargain. Can't go wrong with Kmart prices. If you haven't seen one of these before, it's basically just like a food umbrella that you pop open. I wonder if this is going to pop open for me. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. And you can just put it over any food that you may be preparing or have out. And the flies don't get on it. So this is exactly what we needed to add to our kitchen collection. And to be honest, we might need to add more than one, but we'll see how we go with this one to begin with. I'm just gonna put that down because uh, I don't really have anywhere to put that just now. <laughs> we don't need it open and I'll slide it back in into its plastic sleeve just so I don't wanna like throw it on the floor or anything because obviously it's gonna be in the kitchen. So I wanna keep it as hygienic as possible. That's the first kitchen bit. The second one was the chopping boards. This was a $4 for a pack of two. We've got the bigger size and then a smaller one. I think four bucks, seriously, you can't go wrong with this. It's a fantastic price and we just really needed to stock up on some more. Our one's also looking a bit haggard at the moment, so it's probably time even to buff that one out, but no doubt we'll keep it because we seriously need more than one. We've been coping with one for a while, so I'm pleased we finally have two, but as I said, the other one might have to go in the bin. They had plenty of selection in the chopping board area as well. They seem to be really well stocked in this uh, section of Kmart. Plastic, colored ones, wooden ones, lots to pick from, all really, really good prices. The next item I have been meaning to get my hands on for a very, very, very long time is a drying rack. <laughs> we have never owned a drying rack. Like, Bronson and I have been together coming up four years and we've never owned a drying rack. It's not like crazy. I guess, yes, we do have a dishwasher, but there's always dishes that you have that just can't go in the dishwasher or you run out of space in your dishwasher and you need to do a few by hand. So I'm so pleased that we finally picked this one up. My mum actually used to have one like this. In fact, she might still have it. I can't remember if she had it there when I was there last Christmas or not. I'm not too sure, but I love the bamboo look nonetheless. This is what it looks like here. I think that it is so good. It was only $8, so a really, really good price. To go with that, I picked up a $2 mat. This is to like help catch any of the excess water that drips off the dishes when they're stacked up. I think that this is a must, otherwise the water is just gonna pool on the bench and then like spill onto the floor and just cause havoc. So this will just rest underneath the bamboo thingy itself. I'll show you what size it is actually. My mum actually did pick up some of these as well. She said the ones from Kmart weren't that good and when you wash them they kind of go all funny. So I'll just have to see how I get on but two dollars if we need to buy a replacement one it's not too bad and it's really just to catch the drips at the end of the day so I don't want to spend too much money on it. The other dish racks that they had there was this one that, that like folds up and then you can roll it out and put it over your sink. So they drip dry into the sink, which I think is quite a cool idea. The only thing is we, we don't have the space to do that. If we had two large sinks, I think it would be great, but we have one large sink and one smaller sink. So you need the larger sink to wash the dishes. So in the meantime, you'd have nowhere to put them until you could set up your drying rack. That was $10, great idea, just not really useful for the space that we live in at the moment. They also had these sponge and dish brush caddies. I really, really want to get one of these. The only thing is I did not like the color. They're only five bucks that came out, which is such a steal, but I'm just gonna wait and hopefully they get in another color in the near future or purchase one from elsewhere because that just ain't my color at all. I would prefer white or silver or rose gold, so I'll be keeping an eye out over the coming months for something like that. This next 
item we have been wanting to get our hands on for so, so long. I can't remember if I included mine in a Kmart haul or not. It might have just been an item that we purchased and never made it into a haul, but that was my pink lunch coolie bag. Now, after all this time, Bronson finally has one. The lucky last one. And blue. <laughs> finally, after all this time. It is navy blue. It does have like a little bit of pink in it, but he's not too bothered. And the reason that I love this size is firstly, it's so cheap. It's literally only four bucks, which is an absolute steal. Kmart call it the Navy Palm Insulated Collapsible Lunch Bag. So basically you fold it out. It has a zipper that goes around the outside as well to keep everything nice and sealed in. This was the last one in this color and we've been on the hunt for the navy one for so long. We always saw the tag there and the shelf was always empty of this color. So I'm pleased we finally have it. This is also the perfect size for our HelloFresh ice packs. All of the ice packs that come with HelloFresh are literally just about the size of the bottom of this bag. So it works perfectly and fits all of our lunch containers in it. And I've been loving getting the use out of my pink one. So I think Bronson will be happy that he finally can keep his lunch cold without just taking a random plastic bag or another random bag and putting an ice pack in it. This is insulated must have for the Queensland summer, especially when you're taking like chicken and meat to work. You really, really need it. Other bits and bobs in the kitchen section that I really wanted to get was a small container to put in our fridge to put all of the HelloFresh sauces into, just so they're not willy-nilly throughout the fridge all the time. The only trouble is they only had this one really big one left and the rest of the shelf was blank, so I'm just going to have to keep an eye out on our upcoming Kmart trips. Hopefully they do get more stock of those nice clear containers so I can pick one of them up to pop in our fridge for those bits and bobs. Moving on to the homely bits now. There wasn't too much that caught my eye this round. Uh, I don't know. There was lots of areas of Kmart that just weren't floating my boat, which is a bit of a shame, but there was something in stock that I have been wanting to get my hands on for quite a while now, and that is one of their Wood Look Aroma Diffusers. So I've heard really great things about these. If you know of another YouTuber, her name is Jodie Elizabeth on YouTube, if you want to check her out. She has these diffusers and is always saying in her videos how amazing they are. When I went on a trip to came up with her as well, um, she did mention then that they were really, really good. So this round, I finally picked one up. I really want to open it and see what it's like. I've been waiting to film this video. Of course, as soon as I got home yesterday, I just wanted to open this right up and see exactly what it looked like. But I refrained so I could open it on camera. So, oh no, there's lots of stickers on it. More than I expected. Bear with me, just a few moments. I thought I had peeled it, but there's actually two more. Jeez, Kmart, you're going full hog on your stickers. Oh, first up, there is a little brush. This must be to get all your cleaning done. So it comes with everything that you need to know. I'm gonna have a good read through this later so I know the exact ins and outs of how to use it. I don't actually have any essential oils to be able to use in it because they were completely sold out of their essential oils because they were on clearance for $2. So I definitely missed the boat on that one, but of course I can just buy essential oils from elsewhere. And I think you can even get them at the supermarket, but I could be wrong. I'll look next time I go anyway. This is the plug that it comes with. I'm pleased that it's white and not black. I would have been actually annoyed if it was black because <laughs> we have a very white theme happening. And this itself is the diffuser. It looks so, so nice. I've seen these in quite expensive shops, like 
so expensive looking that I'm kind of scared to even walk in and check the prices and they have been really beautiful they change color because they have them all plugged in so you can see and the great thing about this one before I show you and unpackage that is it actually changes color so you've got pink blue orangey red aqua yellow and white which I think will be super relaxing I absolutely love that it has that feature Let's open up this as well so we can take a good look at it. Oh, okay. That's, that's the lid that comes off. I need to hold it from the bottom. <laughs> I'll just put that to the side. Oh, this is cute. I really, really like it. Okay, so it's got that nice piece at the front with the detail. To be honest, I wish I'd opened the boxes when I was there to see what patterns they had on them. I'm not too keen that all of that is there, but that is something very particular and very fussy. So that's the lid. And I'm guessing that is where you put the water and the oil once you have it. Reminder, please do clean the tank regularly. I guess if you left the moisture in there for a long time, it would probably just go moldy. And then you'd be diffusing mold around your house, which would not be nice. So good that they have the reminder sticker. On the front, it has buttons, light, mist, power on one hour three hour and six hour i'm really excited to give this a good go i really want to get relaxing oil so when we come home in the evening we can switch it on and just get some zen time that's what i'm really looking forward to so this is my favorite purchase in this one i really really like it I have never paid attention to when visiting Kmart is the car section. They have lots of car goodies which I never ever knew they had because I'm I just I don't know I've never bothered to really realize something Bronson and I have been on the hunt for once again in this Queensland heat like this summer we're preparing for following summers we just don't have anything in preparation for the heat here and this is one of those car blinds to stop the sun coming in now poor sylvie our car her steering wheel is getting so so cracked because of the heat coming through and part of the reason is because we're not covering her with one of these so if you're not in queensland or don't live in a hot area and not sure what this is it basically goes on your windscreen when you parts the car so it stops and reflects the sun therefore protecting the car more so this was actually advertised as four dollars on the shelf when we got to the checkout it scanned up as seven which was a bit annoying to be honest but it's worth it hopefully it'll last more than one summer to be honest the heat will probably get to it and destroy it maybe after one summer season but you know once again we're learning queenslanders we're discovering all of this as we're going on and i like the um palm tree theme as well they had lots of colors to choose from but there was even a pink one there which we didn't end up picking up i actually really am pleased that bronson did pick this one in the end because out of the hot pink and this kind of pattern i do prefer this pattern just because i'm not really a hot pink kind of gal i'm more of a baby pink soft pink so i think we made the right choice and i think this will match our silver car really really nicely i know that sounds silly but you know blue and silver are a good combo rightio so that basically wraps up today's video i am so happy with all of the items that bronson and i decided to pick up this round of course there will be more kmart hauls to come in the near future if that's your thing don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you pop away if you enjoyed watching this video please do give it a big thumbs up leave me a lovely comment down below and i will see you in our next video Bye!